Uh, several times, I mean, the theme of this or of being uh, worshiping of God alone, and we're reading verse 3, it says, Absolutely, the religion shall be devoted to God alone. God says, Surely those who believe, those who are Jewish, the Christians and the converts, anyone, in other words, doesn't matter what you call yourself, anyone who believes in God, believes in the last day, and leads a righteous life, will receive the recompense from their Lord. They have nothing to fear, nor will they grieve. So the emphasize here, here as we're reading this, we don't see a name of a prophet, we don't see a name of a particular messenger, there's no chauvinism towards any of them. What is important is to believe in God, and then show our truthfulness in the fact that we believe in God through our righteous actions. In chapter 42, verse 15, that in my understanding, I think it's again talking about, you know, that the, all the message of all the people, uh, regardless their name, that they are Jewish or Christian or whatever. Uh, God says in chapter 15 that this is what you shall preach and steadfastly maintain what you are commanded to do. And do not follow their wishes and proclaim. So Prophet Muhammad is proclaiming mm -hmm. that the word of God that I believe in all the scriptures sent down by God, I was commanded to judge among you equitably. God is our Lord and your Lord. We have our deeds and you have your deeds. There is no argument between us and you. God will gather us all together. To him is the ultimate destiny. So we are not judged. It, whoever is worshiping God, this message is to everybody, to all the Christian, to Jews, to Muslim, everybody. Mm -hmm. In the good verses as well. 42, 13. Yeah. Which, which is that? Oh, one? I'm sorry. In the same, uh, the consul consultation, mm -hmm. 42. Ashura, that's right. Ashura. It's so, he decreed for you the mm -hmm. same yeah, religion true. decreed for Noah, and what we inspired to you, and what we decreed for Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. You shall uphold this one religion and do not divide it. But to follow that up, I think this will, um, Surah 4, Ayah 152, um, Surah 4 is woman, woman al-Nasa. Um, As for those who believe in God and his messengers and make no distinction among them, he will grant them their recompense. God is forgiver, most merciful. And in um, the same um, surah, uh, surah 4, woman, 150, um, verse 150, those who disbelieve in God and make, and uh, th those who disbelieve in God and his messengers and seek to make distinction among God and his messengers and say, we believe in some and reject some and wish to follow a path in between. These are the real disbelievers. We have prepared for the disbelievers a shameful retribution. So here again, emphasizing they want to believe in some and reject some and make distinction among the messengers of God. Um, those are the disbelievers. Well, the distinction is not only in uh, words you say, but it could be in action or in context. For example, if I constantly mention one prophet's name and I do not mention other prophet's name, uh, although I might say, well, I believe in all of them, in fact, I'm making a distinction because I'm remembering one all the time. That shows that I have a bias. I, this is what I would like to do. So my understanding is that it extends to the way we, we behave. It's in, also in the context of what we do. I was thinking, uh, why is it that God says do not make distinction in, among the message? They brought all of the one and the same message. Exactly. But the deeper meaning behind it, as far as I can see, or my understanding is that God wants to unify us. Mm -hmm. Unlike most of the human beings, that because of going back to the ego again, they want to have their own territory. They want to have their own group. God wants us to exactly. be unified well, and beautiful. bring love among us. That is beautiful. Also that it's warning for, it's a human nature that we like to deviate from the truth. He's mentioning again and again throughout the history, God is giving the same message, worship God alone, yet from the time that we exist, human exists, Again and again, one prophet come, one prophet prophet goes, then the new religion starts, then then sex starts. All these are, you know, it's a uh, human nature that we like to deviate from the truth.
we mainly it's the ego that we have but that's why I think Cora mentions again and again to uh, bring all these examples about uh, mentioning all the prophets right. 